Hi everyone. In this video, I will talk about the diode piecewise linear model and how to use it to calculate current in simple diode circuits. As you know, the current voltage relationship in a pn junction diode is described by an exponential function which is nonlinear. If we use the characteristics of a real diode, we need to solve a nonlinear equation which does not have any analytical solutions. Although there are some methods to find solutions to nonlinear equations, it would be much easier if we, you, if we can make an approximate linear model. Any nonlinear function at a region can be approximated to a linear function. For example, on this graph, the characteristics at reverse bias or small voltages in forward bias is very close to a line. Also, at high currents, it is fairly close to a line. So, we can break this graph to pieces and represent each piece with a line, and the whole characteristics can be appro approximated to a multiple linear segments or pieces. Because of that, it is called a piecewise linear model. There are different ways that we can do this linear approximation depending on the accuracy we expect from the model. For example, here I have used four segments which have a very good fit to the real characteristics. However, in most cases, we do not need that much accuracy. In a piecewise linear model, which is frequently used, the characteristics are approximated to two line segments. One at reverse bias and small voltages in forward bias, where the current is very small and can be assumed zero. Another segment is at high currents in forward bias. As you can see, they fit in most regions, except in the region so-called knee of the diode. In most applications, this region is not very important. If we want to describe this model by equations, when the voltage is less than the voltage shown here as VO, the current can be approximated to zero. The diode is said is in off condition and can be modeled as an open circuit. If the voltage is more than VO, there is a significant current in the diode, and the line can be shown by this equation. The diode voltage consists of a constant part, which can be shown by a battery, and the part that linearly changes with current that can be shown with a resistor, which is called forward resistance RF. This is the model or equivalent circuit in forward bias or diode on condition. The equation can be shown in this form as well, and as we can see, the slope of the line equals to 1 divided by Rf. Now let's see how we can use this model to calculate the current in a circuit. The diode here is in forward bias and the applied voltage is more than VO. Therefore, the diode is in on condition and can be simply replaced by its equivalent circuit. This is a very simple linear circuit and current can be found by writing a KVL in this loop. The applied voltage equals to VO plus the voltage across the resistor RF, which is RF times ID, and the voltage across the resistor R, which is R times ID. Two resistors RF and R are in series, 
and so we can add them together and now by putting the numerical values we have an equation with the numerical values the only unknown is id or the current in the diode from here we can calculate id which is equal to uh, 2.18 milliamps The voltage across the diode is VD is a combination of the VO and the voltage drop across the resistor RF. So we can write VO plus RF times ID. And if we put the numerical values, we can find the voltage across the diode equal to 2. zero point six four volt when we use this model we use this model when forward resistance is significant this is usually in high currents in power diodes when the series resistance is dominant in low or medium currents, forward resistance is negligible and the constant voltage model is adequate. When the diode is in reverse bias, it is easy. It is an open circuit. The current by definition is zero and all the applied voltage appears across the diode. So we can write ID equal to zero and so because there is no drop across the resistor so vd equals to the applied voltage and here uh, equal to minus 5 volts in a previous video i have shown how to use the constant voltage model to calculate the current the constant voltage model is a special case of piecewise linear model when the forward resistance is zero. In another video, I have shown how to use the ideal diode to do the calculations. This is also a special case of the piecewise linear model when both forward resistance and VO are zero. Thank you for watching.